So what happens if you don't close your flight plan? My name is Land with Thrustflight, and today we're gonna to talk all about it. Let's start with the importance of closing a flight plan. That lets ATC know that you have made it to your destination. First of all, you've had to tell them that you're going from point A to point B. So for instance, for our privates, you're going from Addison Airport to Tyler, Texas, which is where I've sent a few of my private pilot students. The method to which you get there determines about whether or not you or the student needs to call air traffic control or call the control, uh, controlling agency to close the flight plan. What we usually do here at Thrust is what's called VFR flight following, which is a visual flight rules. Um, they're still flying by visual flight rules, VFR, from Addison to Tyler, but each step of the way, they're being uh, followed and then transferred to the next controlling agency. They could be being given a disc discrete squat code. They're being, uh, they're flying at VFR altitudes, but they're being passed off and controlled by and monitored by the different controlling agencies. So once they get to Tyler or their destination airport, their flight plan is automatically closed out. Um, if you fly, file an instrument flight rules flight plan, you're flying under instrument rules. Now, private pilots aren't going to be doing this, so, but you're flying under instrument flight rules. And again, they're following you every step of the way. And once you get to your destination, the flight plan is closed. It's done. If you're fly filing a pure visual flight rules flight plan, all you're doing, you're, what you're basically doing is telling air traffic control that you're going to be flying from Addison to your destination airport, for instance, this, uh, in, in this case, Tyler and that you're going to be flying from this time to this time from uh, for this amount of time for this duration at this altitude so you're giving them a hey i'm going to be from i'm going to be here i'm just letting you know that they're not going to have to contact anybody and they're not going to be monitored by anybody when you're about to take off from let's say addison you have to open up this particular flight plan once it's open and you get to your destination airport and you don't close it they'll give you about 30 minutes before they'll initiate uh, search this we like to joke search and rescue really it's just a phone call because you're the pilot is supposed to land the airplane you know secure it and then call the controlling agency and tell them hey i've made it if not they'll assume maybe something happened. So the first thing they'll do is they'll call the number that's filed with the flight plan. And it's usually your cell number or, you know, it's usually the pilot's number. If they don't call, then they'll start initiating other methods of trying to locate you. If they do end up searching, you know, throwing out search and rescue parties, then they'll follow the flight path of the flight plan or the flight path of the plan that you filed. So the route, and then it just escalates from there. So if you're doing that sort of flight plan, a VFR flight plan, then it's really important to close it once you reach it, once you reach your destination airport, because they're expecting you to, you know, have, have successfully made it to your, your destination. If not, then they're gonna start going through the processes of trying to locate you. You can get in trouble. Uh, if you don't close it, the first thing I'm gonna do, they're just gonna try to call you. They're gonna call you, probably slap you on the wrist a little bit and say, hey, remember to close your flight plan. Um, and if you just forget, you know, an hour or two hours later, they'll probably call somebody, at, or an hour later, they'll probably call somebody at the airport. Hey, did November 214 Papa Charlie make it to, uh, make it to this airport? And if they say yes, then they'll yell, yell, yell at you later. But if they, if they, they call somebody at the, at the airport and they say, no, this aircraft has not made it, then they'll probably initiate some sort of search and rescue yeah i've never had it i've had a i've had a person i've had way long ago one of my trainings i've had one phone call and they were like hey remember to close your flight plan because i forgot to close it 30 minutes after yeah once once you get slapped on the wrist once you don't forget it again all right guys that wraps our video today about how to close a flight plan uh if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos